clear that left leg, it will help him. He can change the angle and create more pressure than he did. And there's the tap! Hamasi does it! Sullivan is doing an outstanding job. Heavy hip pressure. Doesn't have that hook right now, but it's a heavy hip pressure from the back that's keeping Ben Parrish where he's at. A lot of damage done by Sullivan Cully in this round. This is exactly what you want to see out of him. Ben Parrish is going to have to start to move. Well, it's obvious that Sullivan Cully has overcome his performance anxiety and fears of not competing like he can because he was brilliant tonight, Sullivan Cully. Coming up on two minutes gone in the opening frame, and uh, Lucas Brennan continues to show why they're so high. He's known as Skywalker after all. Well, this is the one position. Look how he's starting to set up that choke. Now he's in top. You see that arm to the side. Boy, it's a beautiful, beautiful use of technique right here. That squeeze is on. This is not going to be easy for Ben Lugo to stay with. He is in trouble. He's trying to push on that arm to give him a little bit of space. Get some air in there. Yep. There it is. And beautiful job by Lucas Brown. Look to stand in front of him and throw leather. Shaking it off, but back on his back and back in trouble. Well, he got stunned by that. <laughs> he said, he'll come out here, let's throw. Well, beautiful Be elbow. That was a big one. For that elbow strike really just hurt shut. That's why he turned. He's in trouble now. Mikhailov really needs to start opening up. Mikhailov from back mount, reigning in the ground and pound. Lefts and rights. Referee Mike Beltran stops. Mikhailov is 2-0 and oh in Bellator MMA. And of course, when you talk about experience in MMA, conversely, you're also talking about wear and tear. Left kick knockout by Gonzalez and Mamma Mia. Chris Gonzalez has just stopped Awad. Anytime you get shin against Dome, and that's what you just have with that left shin, just landing right up against the right side of Syed Awad's head. That was a big shot. That put Awad down. You see him hit the ground hard. He's still there, but these right hands just start jackhammering against him. Mendoza looking to bounce back from a loss in his first appearance in the Bellator MMA cage as down goes Di Lorenzo. Di Lorenzo hitting the ground. This is a guy that he's got the full game though. He can wrestle, he's got submissions, he's good and calm in the stand-up. Well, the real question here is, does he get a little bit overwhelmed just because of the atmosphere? Or is just too? Look at that. Ramble, Darce choke attempt. Beautiful on the Darce quickly put on. He's got a very good chance of making this work. Nice scramble. Mendoza really working to get out, but he's in trouble. Coming up on one minute gone here in the first round, and it is Di Lorenzo putting the squeeze on Mendoza. Di Lorenzo getting it done with a dynamic Darce choke in round number one. Makuka. Trying to shrimp his hips, trying to escape, trying to create an opportunity to reverse his fortunes. Instead, it's Hokit goes to side control, now to full mount. With the, and the arm triangle choke employed by Hokit. That is on right now. He can press against that. All he's got to do, he's in from the mount position. It will work. But if he brings himself off to his right side, now he's just, he took it away. He just let go of it, goes to the ground and pound. And now Makuka surrenders his back, and there it is! Isaiah Hokan bouncing back in brilliant fashion! Nice knee inside to the right hand. Corey's feeling very good. That was a beautifully placed elbow by Corey Samuels. Two minutes gone here in what has been a frenetic start to the first round. Samuels again going with an elbow strike and again doing a great job of putting together his punches. Great counter elbow over the top, John. Beautiful body strikes by Montalvo with a great counter, that elbow up top like you're talking about. But look at Montalvo go rip into the body. That will punch holes in that gas tank. Yeah, you want to put the money in the bank and yet there is that risk and reward factor. Now, right now, Samuels is throwing a little too hard. He's really he's in that position where he thinks he can hurt him. Just keep touching him. Just past the midpoint of the opening round, and now it's Montalvo's turn to open up on Samuels. It was a great start for Samuels. A better finish for Montalvo. Kid marvelous with a marvelous come from behind victory. Right now he's being 
smart with what he's doing. Now he goes for the hook. When he saw Disnell extend himself, he went for the hook to get take his back. Nice job. He was heavy on the hips before. And now he's getting the choke set. If he takes that palm to palm, if he pushes with his legs, extends his hips into the lower back of Disnell, and he gets that arm in position, he'll get the choke. It's there. All he needs to do, go palm to palm on it. The extension of his hips, pushing the back of Disnell will make that choke work when he decides to go for it. Now for Jalen Bates. Well, he was on that singly. I do like the fact that at least when he knew he was not going to get it, he tries for that strike to finish it off. We'd like to see a little more dynamic action, especially again, John, with so much at stake in their respective careers. Now less than three minutes left here in the second. And there's Good the shot. attack by Brown on Nalo. Nick Brown dropping Mando Nalo at the midpoint of the round and fight. And it may not. Because we've seen the replay here. Mandel Nalo ended up stopping. Take a look, big shot, he gets folded back, and Nick goes after him, almost knee and belly position, then switches to the mount and opens up. Look at what Nandel Nalo doesn't do anything to stop it, really just covering up. Native of Mahuska, Oklahoma, he gets dropped, and Koreshkov on top, and Koreshkov putting the KO in his surname. Already see a bit of marking on the thigh of Leary where Galan has done so much work. Oh! From Galan! That's a sensational shot! That's it, Tom. David Galan explodes into life again! No rolling thunder this time! Watch this. That's because he doesn't know what happened. That right hand just lit Charlie Leary up. He had no idea where he was at. He did not understand it. It's because that's a moment in time that he was not there. His senses were taken from him by that right hand. Big win by Davy Gallon. Starts to find a way to finish. She started her Bellator career. Danny McCormick with two unanimous decision wins, but two stoppages have followed, and that becomes interesting. Nice. Nice. Lands nice. The nice. She oh, is stunned. And she's hurt! She has no idea where she's at right now. Stephanie Page lighting her up still. Page going for the finish. She sees the chance. Can McCormick hold on? It was a huge shot. Page swings again and this time misses. Has McCormick recovered? Danny's still on wobbly legs right now. McCormick just needs to take her time. Back off. Get some space. Get in the clinch. Don't stand at range with Stephanie Page. Just feel that Paige has to seize the moment here. This is her chance. This is, oh! Brilliant right hand. She follows it up with a good start. Referee's having a good look as she unloads. Another huge right hand. Danny Garrett piles on the pressure. The legs stop, 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 buckle. Stop, 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 it's over. It. He it's stopped over, it. Over, Danny. Over. You okay? And all that, a lot of people are like, oh, you can't do that. Yes, he can. He can he's not striking with it. You can use it to push. And there is that Dublin noise. He needs to be careful of getting into this choke. Stop! Yep. Stop! He landed flush. He might have actually landed one as he was going down also. Hammond in a dominant position already here. Very important. You saw right there Lee Hammond clearing his head, getting himself to be able to posture up. Now he can bring power. Here's the ground and bam, Brian Miners having a good look. And brings it to. Close. And what about that for a statement? A 
and your Bellator debut. They talked him up, and he's delivered. There's that jab, left hook from Musassi. And Vanderford was hurt early. The legs were unsteady. Looks for the takedown. 